All right. Can't have fucking any any good things. You can oh. say can't have shit in Detroit. I know my dad has a propensity to watching the Ace Attorney streams, but he knows we're rowdy. I've never swore before. We can say we can, we can say doo doo fart and I don't, I don't even talk. That's true. <laughs> Ivan has never well, talked on a stream before. Everything. His first words. I know it's beautiful. Truly, mate. By the way, guys, you want guys want to all start using checks instead of like a Venmo. No. Why not? Well, because I don't want to buy a checkbook. <laughs> Probably don't have to buy a checkbook. I mean, I'm sure we can go. You can go to the bank, right, and ask for a checkbook, and they'll give it to you. But like normally, you have to buy them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know, yes, but like most banks, like other kind of minor fees like that are not as prevalent. Depends though. Depends. Even then, imagine writing somebody a check for five dollars, and that the them driving to the bank to cash that check would probably. <laughs> take more than five dollars a gas. Take more than five dollars a gas. Hey, listen. All I gotta say is I think checks are, the, or checks are on the rise. Checks are the new future. It's like Bitcoin, but paper. Exactly. Well, like, that's, a, that's a pretty novel idea, too. Like, money that can have, like, paper that can have value. That's Isn't ridiculous. That crazy? That's not, like, my Ethereum at all. Mm -mm. By the way, um, if you use my code uh at checkout you can get my adam adam nft ethereum grade stuff it's got like little big chungus on it but instead of like on his stomach it's like me the little moon guy uh, have you guys seen my bigger chungus you have a bigger chungus than i do yeah yeah fine fine hold on give me a second sure you know i really like the idea that all my money is value could just disappear overnight because nobody cares about <laughs> it anymore. i think that's right. really awesome I like mind if I show the stream bigger chungus or they, they, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure they would love to see bigger chungus. All right, awesome. Look at this shit. Oh my god, that is bigger than mine. I don't, look how look how big he is. I'm gonna try He's and hold him closer like, to the camera so he looks bigger. So like the Clintons tried to silence him or something, <laughs> so he got a hole in the back of his head. Oh, oh no. He's like he's like a, he's, he's the palm top big chungus. <laughs> That's a reference for all my anime fans out there. I I understood that reference. I understood that reference because I, <laughs> I've seen the show that it's referencing. I, I have as well. Don't put him back. Oh, let me uh, do my due diligence here. Hey, Steven. Hey, Strummer. Hey, Didge. Uh, oh. Do you want that in chills or they will kill you? I'll do both. Number 12. Dancing Fortnite Mario gets crushed by a bulletin board while he's asleep. And for posterity. Number 12, Mario gets crushed by a bulletin board while he's asleep. There you go. You think a, you think a Mario just falls off a bulletin board like that? <laughs> he orchestrated it. <laughs> Speaking of, that's what I started the stream with. The better Call Saul opening twang. <laughs> Alright. You know, you have to title one of these streams chicanery now. Like, you're legally required. <laughs> There hasn't been enough chicanery yet. There, like this series getting it's into a lot of chicanery. Like if you think having the same statue as the murder weapon twice is goofy, it's it gets goofier. Like there's some very specific incidents that I'm very excited to to get to. The beatbox. Are you asking me to beatbox? Because I'm not gonna. I'm better than you. <laughs> I'm the king of the rats. All right. Did I pass the bar? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, Wait, was... I didn't oh. pass the bar exam. I can't be here. I gotta go pass it. Right well, no, no, no. This is you, we can study. This game is a great example of legal um, practice and what you should be doing. Um, as a lawyer. So let's go do a little evidence Easter egg hunt. Which one did we? This one's later. If I can open this oh boy. <laughs> I think right out the gate, I gotta do this one, right? 
Do you? I do, because we ended right here and I don't think I picked a voice yet. So I've had two whole weeks to think about what to do. Did I use any of that time to do that? No. Hey, think about it. Uh, think about it now, but just like compress the two weeks of thinking you could have done into now. Okay, one second. It's going to take a lot of mental processing power. I don't like that she's putting her hands up like a fucking cat. <laughs> I think she's Sorry adjusting God, her collar perpetually. I swear to God, she's gonna fucking put her back of her hand up to her lips. Okay, look at no, no, Steven, I know that I'm doing this. I just don't know what to do. What do you mean we ruined Gumshoe? How? We haven't even seen him for like more than two seconds. Apex Legends. Um... Apex Legends? Yeah, someone Steve, on my Steam. Overwatch. <laughs> uh oh, is that game on Steam now? I think so. It had to be because some guy was playing it on my friends list. Well, hello there, handsome. That'll have to do. Who's Phoenix now? Someone that's not me. Want to help a coin, Martin? Sure, I call heads. Do you want heads? Okay. Ooh, it was heads. Uh, uh, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, ain't you? Detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> tee -hee. I don't tee -hee. This is not gonna work. Uh, what was I doing for Phoenix's internal monologue besides You just were pretending echoing? that it had an echo. That's, like, about it. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. You don't have to keep doing that if you don't want to. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. Perhaps hit television series produced by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould Better Call Saul. For which the main title theme was lovingly referenced at the beginning. It's also exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Well, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Pity the lawyer who had to cross-examine this one. <laughs> I got good news for you, buddy. Dude, what the fuck's that in the drawer? <laughs> what a nice floral arrangement. Flowers oh. are fake, as expected. Like her chest. I know her sun and tulips. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Am I stupid for thinking those are just roses and he should know that? Yes. Okay. No? No, this dude, please. Please. Is that baby's breath? Is that... Oh, those lilacs? I don't think those are either. The ones, the ones at the top might be tulips. Hmm. Those, like, they, they kind of have the shape up there. They're fake, so they're not even flowers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder if what's inside. Let's take a look. The fact that both Doge and Luke at me have ginormous noses is not a spoiler, Steven. Hey, what the- Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh, fuck me. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. I don't know, let's look. Do we show where the, uh... uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the reason that we're not able to, like, look in it is because we haven't showed her the badge. Yeah. Of course. My mistake. Step number one, always. Did you know that I'm an attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand. How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. Just like in the movies. What's your favorite movie? Uh... I like Sword Art Online. <laughs> Sword Art Online Progressive. <laughs> Sword Art... I'm afraid I don't understand. Is that... Was that a Tarantino? No, nah, Martin Scorsese. Oh. Uh, do you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. 
Oh, observe. Incident. You sound like just like a lawyer in the movies. They also just sound like, like that in real life, too. Yeah, it's like in Sword Art Online Progression, <laughs> I bet. Does that have a lawyer like a in it? All the lawyers in that movie. That movie was like... I, I never. I hadn't seen that one. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> oh. Better not encourage her. <laughs> I'll have you know my vocabulary is voluptuous and throbbing. <laughs> my, mine, mine is, uh, you don't even want to know. Uh, er, it's indescribable. You know that thing that, uh, occurred, happened the other day? The bad thing? What, what did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Uh,. Well, dream on. Dream on. <laughs> dream until your dreams come true. I was going to do that, but I was very hesitant in breaking out into the song. Thank you. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tonight, tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Ooh, boy. Uh, could you just... Just who exactly are you? <laughs> A woman with terrible fashion sense. <laughs> and no buttons where they're supposed to be. Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Those are buttons? <laughs> yes, what else are they for? I like it. Well, how, how big does the buttonhole gotta be to fit those buttons through? <laughs> Don't talk about her buttonhole, it'll set her off. And it, hey, I'm just here doing my job here. <laughs> God damn it, what did I sign myself up for? I didn't, this was the one that was left over. <laughs> Tee hee. You know, you're cute when you blush. Only this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Yeah, I'm feeling that. <laughs> right. My name? Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no! <laughs> you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. It's April, May, like the months, and her sister, June, July. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? I see there are two glasses on the table. Keep it in your pants, drummer. Is uh, someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation your eyes have. You must want to be one of those famous detectives. Like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Oh, like Matlock. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like knows who the lawyer is. <laughs> Dad, can you like skip forward like for the whole stream, please? Thank you. Hi. <laughs> no, he left by now. Last name. <laughs> what was the, what if he's like he's what if he like hasn't left yet? What if he's still here and now you just assume that he left and now he's like, oh, no, he, he loves me. Too, he respects me too much to stick around, I think. No, he doesn't. Ah, shit. Love and respect are, are, are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, I was on the phone with my dad a couple days ago, and he was, you know, asking me about the new job or whatever, and he's like, oh, I watched yeah, Ace Attorney. I mean, I had to. It's Ace Attorney. And I'm like, oh, you did? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else to do here. I'm not... We could hit her over the head with the murder weapon, but that would probably complicate things. That would be awesome. Let's do it. All right. Nope. Dad, read the comments. No. He's not here now. He'd probably just watch the video back when I upload it tomorrow. Dude, this, like, so that, so let's say he is here listening. Think of it this way, Adam's father. This could be us, but you plan. <laughs> Is your dad called Doja Goober too? Um, if he ever comes on the show, I will ask him very nicely to call Doja Goober. He might just do it out of his own fruition, just based on how he normally acts, though. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, listen, scene. we expect people to be on their best behavior when, when Adam's dad comes on, all right? Oh, absolutely. Like, embarrass me, fine, but just don't. You know, uh, th there needs to be a good behavior policy. I'm always on good behavior. That's actually kind of true. 
Seems like Mr. Grossberg's out. Well, maybe I should just wait for him to come back. And this is he. Who was he? <laughs> this is uh, Grossberg. He's the large mustachioed lawyer that I think Martin took a crack at. Indeed, indeed. If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. So you the one they say has been looking for me? Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, is that badge on your collar? Oh my, did he bring it up first? <laughs> oh, you can tell he's a better lawyer because he presented his badge first. Uh, yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I want justice well, and a I'm quesadilla. Not... Yeah. Well, there's this really good quesadilla place down down the road two steps that way, you know. That's your window, sir. Oh, well, you know. These days, no one can ever be too careful, you understand? Anyway, I'm not particularly busy these days, so, you know, please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Huh? Is something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, <gasps> did you know? Marvin, it's you! It's literally me. It's literally you, Marvin. <laughs> well, here I am, boy. <laughs> you know, now you're Marvin. I thought, I thought first you're Marnie, now you're Marvin. I can have whatever name that starts with M A R I want. <laughs> you really? got a Mark. Yeah, that's what all the Starbucks people call me. So you're oh. Mario too. So you're Adolf yeah. Hitler. That doesn't start with Mar. <laughs> you're you're Mar Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah. No, please. That's just my father's. But name. you're um, not. But you're not Morty from Rick and Morty. Morty. <laughs> so I fucking mean. Oh my god, this guy. This guy doesn't <laughs> skip over lines when I do say them, and skips over my lines when I don't say uh, them. Me and uh, sorry. Me and Aiden watched the first episode of Steins Gate oh, with John last night. Oh, nice. And uh, it was really funny. And <laughs> he said, "Yo, this is like Rick and Morty." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was? <laughs> Ray tell what it was the, the first couple Definitely. episodes? Our first couple within the first couple minutes. They didn't even do sci-fi stuff yet at that point. Just the main character guy was wearing a lab coat, and then like as soon as Mary was on screen, it was like, oh, so is this like Morty? <laughs> 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 uh, no, 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 no. It was so no. It wasn't uh, Mary. He called like uh, Carisu Morty. And then when she died, he was like, oh, now he's going to have to go to a different universe to get to Morty. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, basically. <laughs> also, I, I skipped mean, over my own line to make it up to you. Is that fair? I don't... backlog in this game. It's playing on hard mode. Yeah, I think. Is there a... I don't know if there is. Is there a controls menu? I doubt it. If anyone knows how to pull up a trace back, I don't, Wait, I don't think... Wait, court record. No, sorry. Nice try. <laughs> Profiles. Profiles. Uh, I'm sure I wrote down everything that he said. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, it's about Maya Faye. Yes, Maya Faye, good girl. Well. <laughs> Why the strange reaction? Uh, I'm really uh, quite busy here. So well, uh, but you said... I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's, it's quite impossible. Well, well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Uh, sorry. And, and a discussion. What's going on? You refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Can we just but look, check to make sure that he knows where an attorney Yeah, I know he saw the badge, yeah. but did he really see the badge? I'm very sorry, but I have nothing to say regarding this matter. Can I ask you about your entirely green globe here? Is this like some sort of... Do you think water is a myth? Back or? in my day, I had a great old grandpappy who once told me to make the world as I see fit. And okay. I saw... My goal was to get the green. So mm -hmm. I made the world green. As oh. I saw fit. Okay. Awesome. 
So why did you? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> how can you just refuse like that? Please, just tell me why you won't take the case. Huh? <coughs> well, you see, that's just um, I'm busy. You see. Wait, it's chugging, uh, really? I'm not seeing that on my end. Is it a stream thing? Uh, actually, yeah, it is chugging. What? Why? No, not on, not for me. It's not usually. I usually it chugs for both me and you. Yeah, I see. It's like it is like lagging. It's chugging just on the stream, not on the game or like anything. Yeah, this is a new problem. Since I haven't dropped any frames or anything. He's too big. He can't fit on the screen. He's too big. Big chuggus. Shoot. Uh. Yeah, that's new. Let me let me knock some things down, I guess. Hold on. Sorry, guys. This I promise I'll get like a, a computer upgrade at some point. Uh, and I'll. Oh, this this at one point I will no longer be constrained by the laptop. I will have a real big boy computer, uh, and I will you give us an I have a dream speech, but it's about you getting a new computer. Yeah, I have a dream. The little white boys and little black boys can watch an Adam Adam stream in peace because I have a real computer that can run a bloody visual novel and stream it at the same time. And maybe I'll play like actual video games. I, I had an idea to stream the multiverses DC whatever Warner Brothers game because I'm actually really cracked at it. Take my word for it. And I can't prove that to you or show you because I already have to run that game in low settings. So I obviously I can't stream it. Is the game not on Switch? Not yet, it's not. If it ever goes on Switch, I'll do it. What ain't? Uh, the Warner Brothers Smash Bros thing, the Ooh. multiverses. Mm -hmm. I've been playing it with Robbie a lot. It's really fun. The one where they're gonna totally charge five dollars for Big Chungus. They will. Mark they are them. totally definitely gonna. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yes. Are they gonna add Big Chungus? They have Bugs Bunny in the Bugs game, Bunny. so eventually there's gonna be a taunt where he inflates and becomes Big Chungus, just guaranteed for sure. Mm-hmm. Like palm top big chungus level for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not like my small big chungus, which I think cancels Not out to a medium chungus. Know there were fight scenes in Looney Tunes. So do you or do do you not remember the entirety of Big Chungus? Like, dude, and all of, like the fights between him and the Elmer Fudd. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, most of them were verbal fights, not necessarily. They only get physical sometimes. I just forget about it sometimes. You know. So I just in a toothpaste ad once. Also, are you saying that the Looney Tunes characters don't fight with each other physically? <laughs> Sam. I said I sometimes forget. All Yosemite right? Sam has shot Bugs Bunny square in the ears more time. Like, they kill each other. They blow each other up with dynamite. Like, it's a whole thing. But um. Anyway, thank you guys for the offers. Of if you win the lottery, you will spot me some money for a computer. I appreciate that. But we're going to need a quicker, more immediate solution. Anywho. I already said this. Sorry. See? <laughs> <laughs> but the client is Mia Faye's sister. Oh my god. It was chugging again when the dialogue was going forward. What the hell? What? Now I'm... I don't know. <coughs> but Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Uh, yes, yes, of course. I know that. Uh, however, I'm I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. I, sorry. Good goodbye. Uh, Creep. <laughs> Fine. But I, I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Hmm? Did you say something? I think not, I said. <laughs> well, I say, I say, what do you mean, Mr. Grossberg? I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their son will take on this particular case. I'm terribly, terribly sorry, my boy. <laughs> Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon. But could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? 
you're practically gonna win the lottery with the backlog <clears throat> of like a month and a half worth of pay. Whoa, all right. Does the painting behind him actually exist? Yeah. Can we ask him about that before circling back to ask him about me? Lure him into a false sense of security. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a, yeah, the painting. That's quite a painting. Uh, you noticed. Well, it does exist after all. My uh, pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the huge sea, the wave of the straw hat. Wolfie. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. That, like, blown up commemorative Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark posters were three million dollars? They bet Picasso. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. I tried to now, calm now, him down. Now, now, now that we've, now now we've, we've, well, now that we've uh, gotten him so focused on the pain, he's not even understanding what we're asking about Mia. How'd you know Mia Faye? Yeah, that was a subtle question. Yeah, worked here. Long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. I learned my techniques in my in blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission from God. It's a mission from God. <laughs> you could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back that one. Alright. Uh, I think we've done all that we can. We did tell him that we were a lawyer, but he didn't even care. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> Creep. Why does he think of a statue? I don't know, let's bring, bring him over the head with it. <laughs> Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding that stupid fucking statue. Hey, my butt friend made it. When you better get your butt out of my house. <laughs> this game came out in 2000, 2001, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Five days. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Wright could stop 9 11 right now. Also, that's, the, right. that's not even true. This game takes place. It was made in 2001. It I takes know. place in like 2015, 2016. I just needed to bring it up again. <laughs> but you got me going for a second there. Let me go, let me go and grab some more water real quick. Yeah. September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Dong dong. I don't think they do that on Law and Order, but hell, they do now. Judge Judy. <laughs> Night court. There's no music. Adam, yeah. can you turn on your webcam, put the Better Call Saul theme back on again, and do 3D Adam, Adam, Adam? <laughs> you know what? Let me just completely tap out of the game on accident, embarrassingly, and then do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, did I close that tab? Hell yes, I did. Okay. Uh, shoot. I'm going to have to put the webcam back where it was, so you're going to have to tell me on the stream how it looks. But... <laughs> but yeah, I'll do 3D Adam Adam for sure. Come on, load you bastard. What, YouTube video too much for you? Okay, that was a little sudden. Okay, you ready? Here goes. Will it lag? I hope that was satisfactory for you. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it, but is that good for the webcam back in where it's supposed to be? You you focus a little more on the right side of your face than the left side of your face. But other than that, it was good and you placed the camera back to where it should be. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I hope that'll um that's sufficient for what you wanted. 
Because again, I couldn't see what that looked like. I just assumed. Sorry, guys. I also grabbed a pair of socks because my feet were a little bit cold. Mm, I have the opposite problem. Looks like you live in a barn. What? Oh, what? yeah, I actually do have a barn roof. That's smart of you to notice. Uh, the rest cool. of the apartment does not look like a barn, though. I'll tell you that. Not, I mean, like not, 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 not I right? that way. <laughs> oh, shit. I haven't even been to my apartment. What? You haven't been to my apartment. Listen, dude. Not that you know of. That's true. Let's, let's trade every time it's an Adam character, Ivan. So now it's you. Alright, oh, let me just finish putting on my socks. <laughs> Are you getting dressed now? Yeah, they're, uh... The, sock, the socks look pretty nice. Look at these socks. They got some like, they got some like red, uh, like red flowers on them, and they got some yellow. It's crazy. Oh. I know. Look like Don Flamenco. <clears throat> Don Quoxity. No. Wait. Ivan feet time stamps. <laughs> <laughs> could, Ivan, could you describe your feet in glorious detail, please? Hot. Uh, that's all I need. Muscular, thank you. slender. Oh, slender! Uh, nice. That's our favorite word. Yeah. All right. Uh, hiya. Oh, you're back. Uh, did you find the lawyer? Uh, well, uh, what, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, uh, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem <laughs> healthy. He was all skin and bones. Uh, what really happened? Mm. You don't mean he refused to help? Erp. I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh. <laughs> hey, we gotta remind her. This is our chance to remind her. Hey, we're an attorney too. We gotta remind her. Look, sorry, it's been a while, but I don't think I've ever seen that before. What do you mean? You she, saw it earlier today! <laughs> she says sarcastically. Oh my god. Yeah, so what about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Call your mom. Mama. You, know, you have to marry your mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. And several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Hmm. So, you live by yourself? Yeah, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I mean, I had to become independent, or I'd lose my powers. Feel bad for her all by herself up in that mountain. Okay. Enemy. So, uh, who is this man who, um... Ruined your mother. Okay, when you say that, it sounds like a sex thing. So about 15 <laughs> years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made... say, Adam, do, are we really going to do a retix of that joke? Yes, What? play along, shut up. <laughs> 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 if I can retread that ground, that's the one thing I remember from that original Ace Attorney series, is that joke. Did we make that, did we make that joke? Uh, yeah. It's coming up. I'm, I'm setting it up. Just give me a second. There's a method okay. to my madness. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? You sound like you already know. <laughs> but uh, the police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You 
you thought? I thought. The man my mother helped. <laughs> yeah, the yeah you thought. What? Uh, yeah. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consul or consultation with the medium had been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became a laughing stock of the nation. Oh, I see. White. <laughs> Excuse me? White? Didn't care. Don't ask. Plus you're white. Just kidding. Hey, I, I ain't white. I yella. <laughs> that guy's black. I didn't think. I don't think he looked black in the original like, DS games, but he looks very black now. And I don't know if that was a conscious decision <laughs> the or guy in the background. Just, yeah, the, the cop. Listen, it's, it's commentary because he's black and he's a cop. What does that mean? What, that mean? what do you mean by that? It's social commentary about. It's social commentary, dude. Just like let let it sink in. <laughs> what? Also, Let the meaning sink in. The stream's chugging. The game's running fine. Like to me, the hey. the Mario one was was being a a awful. But like, what what's what's the problem with this one? Ever thought that maybe you guys are the problem? Uh, what if we were the virus? <laughs> let me let me consult task manager. The Earth is healing. No, it isn't. I, I, here's the thing, Doge. I can't believe you. Is there a great Gatsby visual novel? I think that would just be the book. <laughs> no, but what if there was a great Gatsby visual novel? I mean, the idea of like pulling a Steins Gate Elite and just like, taking the book and then using screen caps from the movie and making a visual novel out of it. I'm going to hit the air conditioning, see if I can cool down the computer and by extension no i meant the room and by extension the computer great gatsby linear bound photograph uh, you get it as a bonus yeah, yeah, i just want to make a great gatsby visual novel and then play it i mean do you happen to have a pdf that we can easily copy and paste text from from the book i mean i'm sure we can just look up great gatsby pdf it's probably in the public domain are we even if it wasn't i think you're allowed to read books on screen well, right, right, right. No, but I'm saying if we, if we make the game, right, like you boot up Renpy, you take the entire, you know, text of the of the book and then turn it into a visual novel. Uh, uh, <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Rather than write my own thing at that point, if I'm gonna put forth caps the, the movie <laughs> and, and the CG. No, dude. Imagine seeing Tobey Maguire on screen. Also, uh, Tobey Maguire was like the perfect cast for Nick. Yeah. Like and yeah, and like, Leo DiCaprio like is uh is Gatsby. Is, I think that was Gatsby. Like, like, yeah, that, that's a that's a flawless like casting. That, right and there. you got or, the the famous Leo DiCaprio gif where he's like like winking and and moving yeah, his wine know. glass. The, or whatever the one, towards one the... that like I the one that I uh, uh imitated for that one Halloween video we did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really funny Halloween. That was just like oh shit, uh Halloween costume so we can film this put on a suit and call myself the great yeah it's because we're reading it in english right now and then they, they were gonna put that in the yearbook but then they didn't because i had a martini glass in my hand oh my god it, oh my god. oh my hey for um oh i guess that wasn't for school never mind but for the crab day promo um i put cranberry juice and wine glasses and drank it with joseph it's awesome and that was his name my sister told me white mm. And just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Hey, if he works for the state, he must be great, right? Yeah. Sure he is. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Shit, yeah, I, 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 got, <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got I got shit to do. <laughs> I got shit to do, dude. <laughs> I, I heard there's this new movie that's coming out in 12 years that I can watch today called The Great Gatsby. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should go and watch that shit. Nothing left for me to do. Should be better off that with the state appointed lawyer. Said no one ever. I think I'd better get home now. 
is the is the chugging worse now? Is it? I I think so. What is going on? I, I... Oh man, I can't catch a fucking break. Yes, what is going? On? I don't. I I can't see oh, it. It looks pretty bad from my end. I, don't know. I had everything prepped this time. I had my I had the whole shit figured out. I was all ready to go. Back for the time being. It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. He didn't call Saul. <laughs> Probably never meet her again. Did I make the right choice? Why ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. Game over. <laughs> nah, I, I can't let that happen. I'm not leaving here until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. What? Why? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me the killer? All the evidence seems to say yes. But there's something about this whole thing that smells a little stinky, stinky, stinky. stinky. The witness's strange behavior. Was that all an act? And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad, more lonely than that. And I know I've been there long, long time ago. <laughs> Shit. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Someone has to look out for the people, no one on their side. Oh, that's, why, that's why I think of when I think of lawyers. Oh, Someone's yeah. Always there. They're very benevolent yeah. and helpful, and they're just the best. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you guys know why the Barry lawyer is 60, you know, 60 feet under the ground. Mm, it's true. Mm -hmm. Deep down, they're really good people. <laughs> that's right. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind anyway. of you. And then he sings the one song that's like, I'll be there. Like that song. And he's just there and he sings that entire song. <laughs> that's why they faded to black. <laughs> he's yeah. like, oh, love and comfort you. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing, well, well, footage, well, showing her footage of the of the uh, fucking civil war in the Congo. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I, I, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's going on. I, um, I've yeah, never run into. I forgot. I've never run into this problem before. It says I'm not dropping frames or whatever. I'm I'm sort of hoping that the um, the what's it um, the vod doesn't look like this. But if you guys are seeing it, it, probably is. Delete Persona 4 Arena Ultimax from your computer. That's why it's lagging. Your I C put it on drive. my D drive. You put it on your E drive. I don't have an E drive. I have a C and a D. Put it on the fart drive. No. Let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right. Uh, thank you. Oof. She smiled the last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Uh, yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? Uh, dude, that, that's like, okay, it's a deal, but now I think about it, that's like the first, that's the question I'm not supposed to ask. <laughs> what was the question? Whether or not you're innocent. What? Wait, why wouldn't you ask that? I, it's true. Hey, uh, that's, that's like the number one rule of being a lawyer. You're not, you're not supposed to ask whether or not your client is innocent. What? 
Well, it's supposed to be in it if you're their attorney. So, what them. next? There's something that's been bugging me. What was inside the strange woman's drawer? So when I tried to look into the drawer, she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. All right, now the icing on the cake. Nick is like, when we first showed her that attorney's badge, it was like, okay, yeah, cool, you're, you're an attorney. But now that we're her attorney, she's taking a whole new meeting. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I pulled up the little stream thing. I, I see what it's doing now. So like one frame a second, that's wonderful. Stream is experiencing issues. Can you tell me why? Can you, uh, can you explain to me why that's happening, please? Maybe I mean, speak. on Streamlabs, is it showing you, like, the yellow exclamation mark symbol that normally means that it's shut game? Uh, no, it wouldn't show me that because I'm in performance mode, but I have I'm the... In performance mode, it tells me when I'm chugging. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't have that open. I have the chat and it's blown up window. Uh, but yeah, I, I saw that. Animated emoji strummer post is doing it. 100% absolutely. Blame strummer for sure. There's fucking DDoS in you right now. It's fucked up, dude. What That's it? not cool. Yeah, I see what you mean. I didn't call us all. I need to sue Dell. For sure. There you go. So you're going to complain to someone and have them go and complain to someone somehow at like the Microsoft store till you get a new computer. <laughs> Even if that's not originally where you got the computer from, you <laughs> just be like, well, of course I don't have my receipt. I, I bought the computer five years ago. Are you supposed to be to keep a receipt for five years when the thing breaks down? Oh, this is also oh. me. Oh my god, he looks... Ugh, his eyes. I need a double, double rested suit on. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Strummer. Good afternoon, sir. I mean, since we trade every time. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. You you are. I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Good, good Wait, bus no, boy. Hey. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, you just run random guy in different chicks' room. Oh, yeah, please make use of the room as long as you like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I see you slipped in when I was trying to close the door. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Please, use the facility as much as you like. <laughs> Smooth movie pulled there, sir. <laughs> ah, I see. Would you like pay-per-view porn in the hotel room? That's <laughs> wonderful, sir. Excellent <laughs> choice. I'll make sure it's billed to Mrs. May's. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, love the pornographic parody of the movie Battleship based on the board game Battleship. <laughs> That's really lovely, sir. That movie was beautiful. The porn parody of Battleship? Both that and the original. Uh, okay. I've seen neither, yeah. and I don't... I think I made up the... I don't know. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? I'm not even... I don't even want pay-per-view. Oh, wait, now's <laughs> my chance to sneak around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, you came back quick. Oh, uh, yes, I was just grabbing some... Oh, you enter the elevator and it go down and everything. Ah. Uh -huh. And he was on top of him. That's, it's quite a gag I like to play, sir. I like to let people enter others' rooms without permission and then go scare them as if they're caught. It's most humorous. Uh -huh. Anyway, I, I, I brought puppet corn so that you and I might watch battle tits together <laughs> might i inform you that miss may or might i ask you to inform miss may that there's a message for her please tell her that and, and voice. Yeah, please tell her that mr white of blue corp phoned oh right sure mr white of blue corp 
Hey yo, Mr. White. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 two seconds ago. <laughs> it's fucking. It's fucking him. It's, it's, it's him. It's the guy from two seconds ago. White. Oh my god, Mr. Oh, White. Was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's future mother? Who ruined? He ruined <laughs> all of them. He ruined her. <laughs> fucking, he destroyed her. He ruined she, her. She, she is ruined. done. She is gone. She's out of here. She's, She's gone. Taken off. Could it be a coincidence? I wish I could. I could have ruined her as hard as he did. <laughs> Some would say this is more crass than the joke last time, but we'll get there. Oh, there's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? If I were in Phoenix's situation, I think it was the bellboy. There's definitely something suspicious about Miss May. Damn. Ayo, <laughs> hey, oh, I'd be, if she'd be a poster, I'd be a poster too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, really? She's a warrior right now. <laughs> Pink says, shut up. <laughs> I mean, why would That's she act true. like this in her hotel room? There's a hey, well, story behind all this. I know it. There's a story behind every person. You're not the fucking protagonist. Yes, he is. You're not the fucking like main character of the universe, dude. There's a story yes, behind everyone. Everyone else is a story just as complex as yourself. If not more so in most cases, but... Yeah. It... <laughs> all right. I'm trying to hate people like you. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. From Maya's. I'll get to the. In I'll get into this woman's bottom. I mean, you know what I mean. Omniscient narrator. <laughs> oh, bellboy's still there. Battle tits is about to start. Uh oh, time to scram. <laughs> I look forward to tangling you with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. He is the namesake of games where he's not even the main character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But that's not a problem until later, where I don't know if we'll get there, and I I don't know if I will ever have any way to play this on stream. But whatevs. Oh, because of all the branching choices, I should probably make a new one. <laughs> so we can go back and get the Larry flags. Yeah, in case a character dies and we have to go back and, you know, we're inching closer. Save them. September 7th, 10 a.m., <laughs> District Court, courtroom number one. What if, what if this game pulled, like, a, a fucking deus ex, where, like, it just, like, had 9-11, but, like, decades beforehand? Like, deus ex came out in, like, the 90s or something, like, fucking decades, but it came out, like, way earlier, and it was, well, like, yeah, the... Wasn't it part of the World movie? Trade Center was the gone. The World Trade Center was gone, <laughs> mysteriously, as, before 9-11. In Deus Ex, it was gone as a like no, it's like literally as a result of a terror attack, it was destroyed. Uh, in like Deus Ex, you can find like emails on computers that are like saying that. Uh, That's crazy. But I, I think like the real reason was that like, with how tall the buildings were, <laughs> they couldn't like, render like, rendering them, they couldn't render them in. So they're like, okay, we gotta get rid of them. Well, let's just have it be a cool little Easter egg where you can find an email on this computer that says they're gone as a result of like a terrorist attack. Lesson learned. Uh, Never make cool Easter eggs because you might accidentally predict 9-11. It's true. It's true. What if it, like this game did it, but in like gruesome detail? Like, like it was like, <laughs> like they literally just like, I'm like... They name drop Osama <laughs> Bin Laden. Before, like, anyone even knew his name or like who he was. <laughs> Mr. Wright, we have to suspend the trial. Osama Bin Laden just crashed the Malaysia <laughs> Flight 37 into the World Trade Center. This Malaysia the... Flight 37 is a completely different point. Oh, sorry, whatever. I don't know. I'm just well, what trying if to he, name drop. He's merging, he's merging the two things and also predicting that now. <laughs> he also predicted <laughs> Malaysia Airlines. <laughs> oh, lordy. Car is now in session for the trial of Mr. Mayo Fay. Oh, shit. What's Edgeworth going to sound okay. like? This uh, one's an important one. He's He comes back in more than one case. It's the first time I'm gonna do this. Uh, Ivan, flip it. Can you flip a coin for me? 
What? Yeah. Then I already have the results in my head for what's heads and what's tails. Okay. Come on, if you make him a Cockney Brit, I'm gonna kill you. Like Although he does wear a oh, triple layered fuck. cravat. Look at that. Yeah. One, wait. There we go. Heads. All right. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Tails. Tails. <laughs> Fine. Uh, the prosecution's ready, your honor. <laughs> Middle. <laughs> Fine. Like. Let me flip it again. No. <laughs> you have it land on its side in a completely new third voice. Here's, uh, let's see. Angry Scotsman. Better in Anime do Edgeworth, please. That's not how this works, Stitch. Uh, I'm sure we'll all have to do them if we ever get to investigations. Let's see. Edgeworth. How, what the heck should Edgeworth sound like? I mean, listen, I had two ideas. I didn't like them. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was rude. Uh, what, what was the second one again? Was it Shadow the Bloody Hedgehog? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Just because his name is Edgeworth doesn't mean. I know. All right, let's see. Because Edgeworth is the sort of prim and proper. Like the... I mean, what does he sound like in the end? I don't know. But uh, personality trait wise, prim, proper, uptight. S says Nigga when he it gets surprised. I, I imagine it is like a fine. All right, third boy. Uh, like I need the line that <laughs> we're going to be so gay that we're going to feed each other grapes and <laughs> rape these two. Women. I I don't know that it's that <laughs> extreme. Of like... Make him French. <laughs> no, I just imagine him as a little more suave, like. I uh, like I'm ever... really versioned. No, no, you can do whatever you want. I just imagine it's a little more like, um, like, nah, I mean, I guess that would require you seeing Fraser. Shit. I don't know. I will, I'm sure we'll keep doing it and we'll find one that works. Sorry for, uh, <laughs> getting Fucking down on you. New voice. Uh, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I had better not show any signs of weakness today. Her will be on me in an instant. The bastard. Mom, I'm gonna get Edgeworth in the dub real quick. Hmm. If you'd ever fucking talk. I mean, I know that one clip of him listening to Eminem in the car. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. It took me forever to just search up Edgeworth dub because I did something to my keyboard whenever I was typing letters It was like doing weird hotkeys when I would click escape It would do the Windows menu and the Windows like key did nothing. I don't know what mm. happened weird. weird. Oh, yeah, we will get to hear his actual voice when he objects. That's true But that's not a good informant of what he should sound like because it's one word uh, Mr. Edward, please give the court your opening statement Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Mm. <laughs> oh, See, defendant is Miss Mayo May. It was right. What the hell was wrong with you, Edward? <laughs> uh, the prosecution has evidence she committed the murder. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have witness who saw her do it. We're gonna infinite monkeys, infinite typewriters, this bullshit, I guess. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edward, and let's begin. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. <laughs> The prosecution calls the chief officer at the senior detective gumshoe. Okay. <laughs> A witness, please state your name and profession to the court. That's the next game. I know. Oh, sorry. Uh, sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. 
Uh, Detective Gamshu. <laughs> Please describe for us the details of this murder. That one's the closest one so far. Uh, very well, sir. Uh, let me use the uh, this floor map uh, to, of the office to explain. Uh, the body was found uh, here by the window. And the cause of death. Oh, that's not. Uh, sorry, that's <laughs> not my line. <laughs> and the cause of death. Probably being hit by a bowling ball, given by the diagram. Uh, loss of blood due to being hit by struck by a blunt object, sir. I knew it! Bowling ball! Uh, the murder weapon was a statue of the thinker for next to the body, sir. Well, it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon even in, the girl, in a girl's hand, sir. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the court accepts the uh, evident statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Uh, again. I, it's okay, it's so, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's very fun for me. <laughs> Talk like Kirito. No. Detective. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, sir. That's not the washing machine, that's the air conditioner. I'll turn it off. Your boobs. Adam, he's liking Adam. What's the washing uh, machine? Adam, Adam. Boobs. Here, other Bryce Brackenbrook voices. <laughs> you immediately arrested Miss Maya, 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 Maya <laughs> Faye, who was found at the scene, correct? Is that Erin Yerga? No, that's. Uh... Itsuki from Demon Slayer. Oh. oh. He always yells. I see. So, you mean Inosuke? Inosuke, that's the one. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know who the hell's Itsuki. Does, does, does he sound like that? I mean, yeah, it's just his... Brian, Bryce Bracken books yelling voice. No, dude, fucking... No, dude, fucking... Uh, I can't, I'm angry that he voiced the protagonist of Blue Exorcist, because that show fucking sucks. <laughs> Too little background noise. You're just gonna have to deal with that, sorry. Turn on some, like, a white noise video. And you tell me why. <laughs> That's Aaron Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Yeager. What, what part are you on now? Still, I still haven't, I haven't watched any of season three yet. But All right, Once you get to the second half, dude, whew, that shit fire. Uh, yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did, sir. Uh, uh, Detective Gumshoe. Uh, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Now we're starting with the innuendos already. Uh, as soon as the uh, phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Uh, there were two people there already. Uh, the defendant, Ms. Mayafe, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested uh, Ms. Mayafe. Uh, Why? We had a witness account describing her. Uh, the witness saw Miss Mayor Faye at the very moment of the murder. No, I wanted to turn it off. I just like having a scapegoat. Hmm, at the very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. This is an r slash whoosh moment, dude. It w <laughs> <laughs> this is an r slash smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. You're gonna be held in contempt. Hey, thank, thank you. Like uh, if anyone new here has any idea what Miles Edgeworth should sound like, we're workshopping that, taking all ideas. But hi, thank you, Capri Sun Panoff. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press every de witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. We're not making him French. I wanted some new... <laughs>
I don't know, nice guy that decided to say hi. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, something the matter? Uh, no, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Make him sound like his actual voice. Well, we don't know what that is, really. <laughs> Speak Japanese. <laughs> uh, as soon as the uh, phone call came in, I rushed the scene. He streams games. We have so much in common. Dude, we I should hang out. Games. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now there's a new thing where if you press, or it's not new, we could have done it last case, but we never had a reason to. If you press Q, this happens. Who'd you say you got a call from? The Ghostbusters? Uh, hey, pal, uh, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from the customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right uh, across from the crime scene. Okay, I pressed. Not sure if it did much, though. But, right, please continue. So, uh, there were two people there already. Just let me know if you want more details about anything. In the dub, he sounds exactly like the thing I was trying to avoid, an arrogant, pompous British man. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that, but like tone it down a little bit. The thing is, is I've, ar I've already done it for other things, so I don't wanna... <laughs> and? <laughs> That's true, because we... No, for sure take your time trying to figure it out, because we, um... Edra's going to be around a lot, so we got to make sure it's something that sounds good and we can consistently do. He's actually only in this case, Martin. I don't know that you knew this, but he's, he's yeah. he only shows up right here. In fact, they actually swapped him out with a different lawyer halfway through. Anyway. Oh, you're playing Phoenix, right? Nice. Dude, I love this game. The The two Jim Oaks I have with me, Ivan and Martin, uh, they've never played this. Or, sort of. Uh, a whole bunch of years ago, played it with uh, them a little bit. We didn't get very far. Uh, I think we played up through the end of this case, right? Yeah, and then yeah. when we were going to start case three, it accidentally loaded a previous save state and lost all our progress. But, up, up. but that was like years and years ago at this point. We're talking like 2018, 2019, something like that. It was 2020. Oh. No. It was definitely 2020, Adam. No. Because that was really? um, that was before I did Dongo Bongo, so it couldn't have been. It was 2019, or before that. It was like... No, I think back in my history, it was after we did Mario Maker, so I don't know what you're talking about. It was before that. Oh, I think it was last... It was, it was like a before... It was the week before last week, right? <laughs> Yeah. It was the day before that, for tomorrow. Whatever. Anywho. Almost. Uh, the defendant, Mr. Mayor Faye, and the lawyer of Mr. Phoenix, right? Then again, because uh, I, I know it's a little obtuse having you guys try to solve the puzzles, but just let me know if you want me to press at any point. Uh, and I know where I want to press. I don't know about you, Martin. <laughs> uh, I immediately arrested Mr. Mayor Faye. Q, Q, no, shit, fuck. Oh, okay. No, I, I can always go back. Don't worry about it. Hold it. Why is that? What's your reason? <laughs> uh, why? We had a witness count describing her. <laughs> Hold on just one second. Uh, yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because she, you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Uh, did, did I say that? Me? Did I heard you I say it. That? Uh, you, you said it. Exactly. What about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Uh, what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess she is Pink. Uh, that's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Uh, uh. That's true. We did get rated last time, and the numbers said 46, but the chatters said zero. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys hanging out and talking. There we go.
So this is a much better raid in my book. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, sir, I got the order of things mixed up in my uh, testimony, Your Honor, sir. But there was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's uh, hear your testimony again. About every other day you do half a case worth. Oh, yeah, you'll blaze through this. This is a, a weekly thing, if that. So, although we try really hard to make it weekly. Yeah, so yeah, dude. Hey, dude, guys, no stream last week, but since then, I'm now an uncle. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild. Uh, think about it this way, guys. My my nephew was born on Stein's uh, Ace Attorney <laughs> Thursday. Ace Attorney Thursday. Right. And that ain't that crazy. Which, congrats, by the way, to everybody. Including thank me. You. Thank you, thank you. Sure. I'm sure you've done something <laughs> worth congratulating. Uh, after securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Very good, Strummer. That's good shilling. Keep it up. Uh, on it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Your Honor, it says Maba. Everyone knows this. <laughs> a lab test result showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Finger? Finger. <laughs> Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Damn, Edward's ass? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the pizza looks Damn. good. Damn. <laughs> uh, how you like that? That's my hard evidence. That's some good shilling, Kapurkinov. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll go uh, look at you as soon as I can. Before we begin the cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Oh, uh, Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence for the first time? Oh, wait, is it 9 o'clock yet? In what? 15 minutes it'll be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because Strummer, it's Strummer's birthday. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, no, technically it's Friday, so it's not his birthday for us yet, but it's his birthday for him. Sure. Hey, it'll, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be his birthday all around the world in 15 minutes, because that's how it works. Yeah, because he's in, yeah. you know, it's the correct time zone. Uh, or, uh, I know, I'm real embarrassed, I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Oh, right, the evidence. It's been a little bit since we looked at some of it. Evidence. Yeah, wire. Wire. Nine, oh, nine, five, at nine p.m. So this is... Oh, shit. Death was instantaneous. She couldn't have written that note. Hey! All right, so where do you want me to present the uh, autopsy? Probably wherever he says that, uh... Uh, it fucking says it was written by her. Like first off, yeah. I think uh, I think it was let's, let's let's prove our uh, we have we have yet to show no. to prove the jury. <laughs> Listen, you yeah, see you see all those jurors <laughs> sitting out there. They don't know those that we're are attorney yet. Jurors, <laughs> they don't know that they're attorney. Uh, uh, we they don't know what we're made of. They don't know that we we're an attorney. Them. For all they know, we could be some random schmuck that walked in off the street defending Maya. They don't, how do they, how, objection? There we go. Your Honor. I'm a lawyer. Uh, uh you are. Uh, you're, you're right about that. I don't see any contradiction there. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, objection no overruled. Try thinking before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. 
Ooh, that didn't go so well. Okay, now, now what? I've run out of ideas. Now, we now, can now I feel like the that. autopsy would probably be a good idea. Objection! No, 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 no. Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote Maxa on this note. That she was accusing uh, the defendant. I mean, I personally Maya thought Faye. that she uh, wrote MAGA, but okay. That's really yeah. what you're saying here. Uh, yeah. Oh, this isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Oh, no, thanks, Capri, Can, Cap Capri Sun. <laughs> thanks for sending your people over, and uh, I appreciate it. Have a, have a good night. You too. See you. See you next week. See you next week, for sure. I'm glad that you've now signed up to being here every time. I appreciate that. But uh, good night, man. Hope I see you around again. I mean, I will see you around again. You've committed. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I'll take that as a promise. Uh, of course she wrote it. Well, she could have. Oh. Yeah, yeah, same. I will throw a follow your way as soon as I can. You have it backwards, detective. B -b -b backwards? B -b -b backwards. The victim is the only person who a absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Ah, uh, but... No butt in your way out of this one, detective. Oh my god, Edward's ass. See? <laughs> order, order. The defense does have a point. Someone who died immediately won't have had the time to write anything down. That's what he sounds like. Objection. Most. Objection. Yeah. Yeah, again, like looking at it at the actual thing, I mean, he sounds British. <laughs> like a little, like not even. I mean, look, look at him. Look at this dude. He's got He's a got triple layer cravat. Miss, Mister Wright. I like I that actually. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I forget. Why does that matter? <laughs> fucking, you, you can't ask me that. Why do you care? I'm, for You know what? I'm going to need both of you to turn the keys on the answers from now on. Why do you care? I, also, like, dude. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was the day after the murder. But... Yeah. I'm sorry. I for gore. Ooh. You forgot, you say. Uh, it was the day after the murder, Your Honor. I was the one who handed it to him myself, personally. Oh, uh, right. The prosecution's point being... Oh, look at him, the swarmy bastard. The, that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the autopsy report's outdated. <laughs> If that's anything, I know that yeah, never this, happens again. This is like a famous moment. Yeah, Steven's got the fucking video on deck if someone if anyone wants to click that. But like the <laughs> the autopsy report is outdated is just a, a really prolific ace attorney <laughs> meme. What? So these have a long the second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Shit. God damn it, Zerma. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did not have time to write Maya. Oh, or good. Ma <laughs> or Mia. Or Mayaya, that is all. Or, or Maga, or Maxa, or whatever that even says. I can't read. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Those very, very ornate maroon sleeves. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. 
something you want to say. <laughs> You're a sham. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. Mm, first off, I, I really feel like we're not a sham. We have our attorney's badge, and that yeah, just proves that. That's true. Mm, oh, sh everyone here, do it. Okay. We know that, like, okay, we know that the detective guy, because we probably have we seen his detective's badge? Probably. Somewhere probably. on him. But no, we don't. Edgeworth, where's Edgeworth's badge? As Edgeworth where's showed Edgeworth's us his badge? attorney's badge. Where yeah. is it, Edgeworth? We're all That's what, shams. That's what I want to know. <laughs> so what, what are the, what are the, what do you guys think? I, I feel like he may be a sham. I haven't seen the physical proof to say otherwise. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, prove you're not a sham. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks in the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Your Honor, he's bending the pages with his fingers. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Your Honor, you can't possibly accept that evidence. It's bent. Damn it. Poor Sorry, I, I already accepted it, so I cannot go back on my word. Well, Your Honor? He's a man of his principle. I have to give him that. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was, ident was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. The next witness is a sham. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. I was expecting Ivan to go damn Edgeworth's ass at that point, but oh well. Okay, I, I, like every time, every time the option, the ability to see it has come up, I've been like get, drinking water or something. You'll like, see. Like I hear, I hear his ass being talked about, it, but I haven't had the pleasure of seeing it. You'll see it. Don't worry. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stain. Oh, Lordy. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Actually, Your Honor, it's actually September. <laughs> September. September, four, four days away from the 11th. Witness, your name, please. April, May. At your service. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? No, that was awesome. <laughs> Wink. All right, I need, like, a cold shower and more water you think she has like robotics that make like that allow her to do that on command yes you know, she, she grew muscles oh. in there to be able to move them at will well Wait. it's like, that's it's not a wire tap that's a vibrating device oh no <laughs> i'm not calling it that <laughs> hey martin yeah you want to let me also use the Chocola sticker, and I'll pay you extra for that one. Hey, you were paying me? Nah, it's fine. You can you can use the the stickers. All right, I, I, I gotta maintain my uh, because they they come in pairs. I want to maintain that pair. Then I'll give the rest back to you. And if you want, I'll even give you, I'll give you a couple dollar discount off of your uh, ring. Also, listen, we we have more buyers than we have rings at this point, so we might be doing an auction. <laughs> Bidding. <laughs> and and John already bid a high at twenty bucks for one of the rings. We don't know if anyone's, so we might be down to three remaining rings instead of four, depending on if we can find a buyer willing to pay more than twenty bucks. Oh, <laughs> that's just for one of the rings, though. There's still three other ones that have yet to be uh, offers placed on them. Me and Aiden are gonna do some kind of a uh, actual bidding process somehow. Eventually. Well, you put it eBay, but you only link it to like people who would actually buy it, and then you refuse to sell it to somebody who. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not sure how we'll do it. We might just have to. Uh... We'll find. We'll find some way to do it. We'll find some way. But either way, is it that? Boom, boom, boom. Shit, which one is? I don't remember which one John put his offer on. But we basically we have. Hold on, I'll, 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 I'll share my screen real quick. Um, where is it? 
So all five on the top are taken now. Why is that one just labeled hot underneath? Because it's Itachi, and like that one is probably the most popular one because it's Itachi. Okay, cool. Is the John the the shark guy, the orange one, yeah. the bottom left, or actually no? Shit, what's that one? Actually, no, all five on the top are taken, and the Orochimaru ring in the bottom right is also taken. The orange ring is the one that John placed a twenty dollar bid on. Shit, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, hello. Well, so unless you're willing to outbid John, then no, it's not available. Uh, or other three though, the death, like the un, like the immortal guy, the uh, I don't remember what that guy does, and the like clay, no, not clay. Like yeah, I think that might be the clay guy's rings are all open as of right now. Yeah, do you have any preference right now, Martin? I mean, if I had to pick a second favorite of the ones that are available then it's the, the the white one but oh with the three lines yeah all right but i mean i don't know i might I, I might genuinely consider outbidding on this one hey listen I'll, I'll i'll let you know if you have if you have any immediate offers right now i'll take them and like consider them but once you get your uh uh once we once we something me and aiden formalize how we'll do the actual bidding process we'll uh, be sure to let you know Cool. Anyway. <laughs> See, there it is. Shit. Damn, look at that ass. I'll pretend I saw it. I no! <laughs> I, I was thinking it was going to be on the right, so I looked on the right, and all I saw was Phoenix, and I was disappointed. Right, because it's... I, I looked uh, over to... It has <laughs> yeah. a little to be desired, but I promise it gets developed as the series goes on. There was... I, I was... Uh, you guys... Uh, Martin, remember that... Uh, and Adam, because you were both there. Remember that stupid politics chat that like was in the like that Discord server for a while on yours, Martin? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it? There, uh... <laughs> me and Aiden were scrolling through it yesterday, looking at some of like the old stuff in there that was like so fucking funny. Uh, but one of the images, there was an image in there at some point of like Joe Biden and like Donald Trump like sitting at the podiums during a debate and just like. <laughs> Irv lines showing Trump having a big ass <laughs> and like Biden having a small ass. And it was really funny. Happy birthday, Strummer. <laughs> I'm glad Happy that that Strummer. conversation happened as you turn 17. Welcome to the real world. You can now. How can you do you can now? now say you, you can now say you were you bore witness the Joe Biden Donald Trump ass conversation. That exactly. Yeah. How does that how does it feel? Happy birthday. <laughs> I, found, I found the image. Let's <laughs> fucking send it to Invoids. It doesn't have the uh, arrows on it that like re really pointed it out, but you don't really need it just to see the facts in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe we get to do happy birthday strummer today. Brappy birthday strummer. Brappy birthday in indeed. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Congratulations. 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 Order an introduction should not require any any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh yes, your honor. Although I'm not quite sure what wanton winking is. This is not good. This is no good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this room. Alice, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Not on a plane, I'll tell you that. Nor making plans to hijack any planes. But, uh, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. <laughs> and this hotel was off. Five guys did didn't even no, speak didn't English. English. And that proves that sometimes <laughs> good ideas are actually really bad ideas. Never, don't you guys realize you're never supposed to judge a book by its cover? <laughs> Everyone Shit, here bro. is judging May, April, May. 
by her looks when they should really never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, maybe she's not as attractive on the inside. You ever think about that? I I, I can I can attest to that. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, Innocent. Ivan, have sexual relations with that woman? No, not that kind of inside. Oh. What other kind of inside is it? <laughs> the mind. Be being in San Francisco and seeing a guy get his fucking heart torn out. It's fucking, it was crazy. San Francisco is not a nice place, I'll tell you that much. Mm. She tore a guy's heart out in San Francisco. And then ate it in front of him. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just assuming. Like, Whoa. I, I'm just assuming that like it, it'll, it'll look the same. Like she looks the same as any other human on the inside. Who knows though? Mm. Blood, guts, and gore. Ew, Ew. icky. True. And this hotel is directly across from Fan Law offices. Remember in Despicable Me too, and Gru used X-ray goggles on his yet-to-be wife. The skinny. Did, Chick. Did no. He also see that she was armed and dangerous with them. <laughs> no, he saw her like bones and internal organs or something. Bones. Bones. What if he made it so that he could see you through her clothes? Ooh. I mean, he did, I guess. I mean, but like, not only through the clothes. <laughs> and then he was also fourteen feet tall. Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, please testify to the court with, about what you saw. Witness dick? <laughs> <laughs> Did not just say witness oh, right. dick. Bam, 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 Like you were out of your mind. Yeah. What happened? Well, it's about, it's, what's about to happen. I'm this character, Robbie. I have to say all the things that she says, Robbie. It's going to cause problems for me, Robbie. You should robotically you also move so your funny. boobs when you wink. What? I'm not. You almost look identical to her. I appreciate that. Kind of. Adam, Adam really? move your boobs when you wink now. Can you both of you stop that? <laughs> was Ivan or Martin doing it? Martin was. What? Uh, chanting something along the lines of Adam has big boob, or was that you? That was me. That was you. What did Mar what did you do? I said, move your boobs when you wink now. He said, move your boobs when you wink now. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> it was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. It is like nine o'clock. Yeah. And the one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and then ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. And then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Fuck me. And <laughs> Everything. You don't want to say every little bit, bitsy witsy. Really? No, I look. I can say samezies. Fine, fine, fine. No, no, no. I don't. Bitch, I'll fucking do it. You already did. Hey, yeah, for for for, for for everyone you don't say, you have to say the next one. Okay, I'm gonna to cut my losses on bitsy witsy then. Every little bitsy witsy wink. I don't think you're supposed to say the wink. I think you were supposed to wink. I'm not going to wink after I say it. I'm not going to wink. I see. It's a remarkably solid testimony. This feels like impractical jokers. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? Oh, I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I do understand that you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques as well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. But hey, how dare you? 
Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? <laughs> nah. Nah. Just... <laughs> Shit. We literally have right. evidence that is foreboding. <laughs> We ransacked her room. <laughs> yeah, we have a wiretap. <laughs> nah, no need. What, what's a cross examination? What's what is, even is a cross examination? I never heard of that in my entire life. Did you pass the bar? <laughs> no. Uh, I bought I I bought this uh, attorney's badge from someone. I bought it from eBay. So you don't I want got to cross examine this attorney's badge off of eBay. You don't want to cross examine the witness. Nah. Uh, Listen, like, what, what if the next witness has something better to say? <laughs> We're not going to get to the next witness if he declares a guilty verdict. Who knows? <laughs> no, you're right. I guess there wouldn't be much point. <laughs> I'm glad you saw the error of your ways so soon. Your Honor, the prosecution rests its case. <laughs> What? That's it? Mm, very well. But wait, well, hold on. Yes, Mr. Wright. Change your mind. Will you cross examine the witness? Yes, yes, yes. I'd better or I'll lose on the spot. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. I think. And hold nuts. I want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta try harder than that. I want to lose. What's her time of death? Uh, nine. Oh. Well, hold on. The phone, right? Didn't it stay in time? Nine in the morning. Yeah. Oh. Nine twenty-seven a.m. Also, her testimony didn't include the glass being broken. So. Well, I don't know that she could have seen that from the wind. I guess, but is that important? No, I guess not. So we got the Mava note. We got wiretap, murder weapon. I, mean, I think the wiretap would be the best thing, but also it might be just good to press for a little bit to see. You... All right, sure. Hold it! Why'd you do that? Oh, fuck. Alright, well. Huh? Why? Like, why what? Uh, why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, uh, gee. What? That's it? She can't get that question. Uh, she can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know. I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling just trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. I never back down. Double down, now. <laughs> Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I uh, oh. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You're talking it's about my badger? Well, I was I was more referring to relentlessly showing your attorney's badge to the prosecution uh, <laughs> or anybody else involved with no particular. I'm sure, I'm sure that if you really had your attorney's badge, you'd be doing that too. So I, I still, you still have yet to really show me whether or not you're a real attorney. I'm needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, don't you? The poor girl, the poor girl, the poor girl. It's the guys. <laughs> yeah, don't bother, don't bother her. <laughs> She's a nice Order. lady. She's Order. like, Order. She's like literally, like, I'd like marry her if I could, but like, you know, like, you know, but like. Who the heck does this guy think he is? Get him out of here. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Mr. Rat, you have been warned. Poor girl, but poor me. You looked out the window, so what did you see next? And then I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Okay. 
<laughs> Did you really see a woman with long hair? <laughs> Hold <laughs> it! No! <laughs> Maya the Faye woman... also had long hair, huh? <laughs> now, the woman with long hair, it wasn't yourself in the reflection? Uh... Slander, sort of. My people, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her? Well, the one attacking her was the massive girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Do I really have hey. to read this back to you? She said she's innocent. So this must be, there, there's, there's something wrong with this statement right here. Let's just ask her if she's lying. <laughs> Are you lying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There's only one person that's seen the crime of a short, girlish figure. Unless I, that was you. <laughs> but... <laughs> The testimony is bulletproof, your honor. <laughs> it was me. Listen, I, I got nothing but questions right now, dude. If she's innocent, how are you saying she's not? It's as simple as that. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? <laughs> Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... You're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Damn, Ed Jordan. <laughs> that pizza looked good. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to look. Can, can he still <laughs> scream next time I'm get the opportunity to see it? Okay, yeah. I think I can. I think I press enter. I can probably leave it on that scene before the judge bangs its gavel. I'll see if I can get you the, the, the primo supreme viewing yeah. of it. I, I, I gotta look them all the way up and down. Yeah, for sure. The only, the only supreme thing in this court is Edgeworth's <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rao, what is the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this. I mean... Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> Shit, I thought I was going to get some ass right there. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert in fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. What every girl does the samurai top knot nowadays, it's such a huge thing. Phoenix, True. get with it. You're so streets behind. He's so behind the times. Oh. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. Testimony is bogus. Bogus. It's bogus. Bogus? But, but... Uh, still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. So did Detective Dumbshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> okay. So if I don't do this one, I, I, I have to do the next one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pass this one. What are you, you trying to say? Roar, no. <laughs> that means I love you in Dinosaur. Dinosaur office. Roar. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean, Lord? Uh, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I... <laughs> <laughs> Be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Uh, your testimony, if you would. I'm gonna kill myself. Damn, I almost had it. You better not before you say. Otherwise, you'll have to be saying it in your in your grave. <laughs> well, let me let the stream stop wigging out for a sec. I can see it doing that. 
There we go. Okay. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran right off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with the weapon. I saw it. I did. The the clock. The kind of statue clock thinker think, I think. Well, does that accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> Uh, I see. I only wish you would pencil detail from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. See, how did she know it was clock? Oh, that sounds familiar. Also, did she really describe it as hippie clothes? <laughs> Uh, yes. Damn. <laughs> you want to press that? They were yeah. not hippie clothes. It was a straight oh, okay. <laughs> maiden. <laughs> How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up in a bun. Ah. Uh, what happened, Dan? Uh, yeah, press, sure. press, well, let's press press it for now. Uh, a clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Mm, yeah, sure, we'll just present the uh, statue then. God, I love that. Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? God. No, you missed... Fuck me. Stone face. You have to say it. No smile, no nothing. Fine. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? How did that help? How did what you say help at all? I mean, it did, but how? You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. There's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. <laughs> Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. <laughs> Got him. There it is. Shit. Damn, I saw that. <laughs> Woo! That's, that's impressive. I know. Order, order. Miss Matt, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Uh, <clears throat> Witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your questions, uh, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. <laughs> hey, lawyer at work right there. Yeah. <laughs> Objection is sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew, that was a close one. If you stop me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question, how did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Yeah, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Faye and Co. But no, hey, I, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> the law offices of Faye and Co. where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Uh, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? I'm not satisfied until I get to the bottom of this witness. <laughs> no, Your Honor. Or the bottom of Edgeworth, that will do. Objection. Uh, that would be more than enough. 
My bottom is more. <laughs> it's none of your business. I can't give up now. <laughs> I must get to the bottom of Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not satisfied because. You know, it couldn't have rung. That, 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 I feel like, I, I don't know, but <laughs> hey, that, that's not like, how, how would he know? How would they know? Well, I mean, you open know. the outage records, right? I mean, does the clock still have its batteries in it? Uh, this doesn't say. Yeah. Well, let's try. Let's try it. Okay. Couldn't have rung. It's as simple as that. Your Honor, members of the court. Uh, it is inconceivable that the question rang because. Mm -hmm. It's broken. I don't, fuck, I don't fucking know. It just couldn't have rang. Try and ring it right now. <laughs> uh, sure, it's broken. Why not? Uh, this is case two. Uh, oh. I, I, th I think it's broken. That clock's busted. I know. The statue's back again for this one. But, oh, is <laughs> Hi, Brandon. No, we're not doing case one again. We could, though. Uh, you think? Uh, did... Just look at it, Your Honor. Please examine the clock. Mm. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? Well, I'm not sure I would call this broken, but... I doubt it could ring. The clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Well, Brandon, it is the first second case. <laughs> it's true. Look at Edgeworth's yeah, ass, Brandon. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and look at that pizza. I hope you caught that. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? Uh is as you can see the clock was empty it couldn't have rung therefore this witness is a big fat liar fat <laughs> objection your honor the only one the only fat one here is me <laughs> With my dump truck ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. <Well>, Edgeworth. <laughs> dude, he's got an absolute dumper. Crazy. <laughs> when he backs up, just. <laughs> <laughs> they had to make the desk farther separated from the wall of the courtroom. Well, Miss Fay. Tick, tisk, tisk. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must, a we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there's no contradiction. Hmm. That's true. That's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have emptied after she heard it. And it is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? <laughs> Impossible, of course. Actually, I have proof. Oh, yeah, no worries, Brandon. Good luck. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed. Uh, what does our call. phone call record look like? Forward. Like? Uh, uh, well, it's right there. That sentence. Clock isn't talking right now. There we go. Yeah, so we'll use. Uh... Oh, well. There we yeah, go. No, you're there. You go. Take 
Take a look at this. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. No way. I can't believe this. <laughs> take a take a load of this. <laughs> Wait, 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 guys! This this isn't my phone. What else does he know. say? Because there's no like way. I can't believe this. There's like th three lines that like Eggman says like a million times at the end of that game. Yeah, let's get a load of this. Ah, uh, I can't believe this. And, okay. Uh... <laughs> I just remember like a good three or four of us just uh, like courtroom typographer saying everything that he said over and over again in this massive wall of text. It was awesome. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone that contains a recording. A recording of a conversation that she had in the day she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Yeah, look at Edgeworth. Brandon! <laughs> Complete dumper right there. Order, order. And a cell phone? That wasn't brought to my attention. Whoa, they made his pupils, like, move. That's crazy. I don't know if he does that on the DS. I couldn't tell you. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Or perhaps indeed. The good detective has... The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for that big dog. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? Who's me at? I've been... I thought... Was that me? Oh. Yeah. Uh, if you could, uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. Uh, I had to take the clock book out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Xbox off. <laughs> I think this makes it clear the clock was already gone by the time of this, uh, by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Meg, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Uh, well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Uh, what store is that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Dude, please, come on. This isn't just a, this isn't a clock you can buy at a store. The witness claims she's seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen the clock before. The actual itself hey, yeah. is simple as that. I mean, it's the clock again, but... Uh... Oh, sorry. What's I, up? I thought. Can you also like predict uh, like profiles or whatever, and then be like, oh, "I was made by Larry." No, I don't think you can present profiles. Objection. Larry said he the profiles. Nah, we have the bill boy. The bill boy. Let's see, seventeen thirty. Shit. Thirty. Yeah. I'm sorry, 30. Gumshoe, but you age like milk. See, that, that's an age I can get behind. Is she only 23? 24? Damn, he has gray hair! Always, always. It's from all the stress of being a prosecutor. I guess. True. All the and stress not, of... Not only is he a prosecutor, he's also in criminal law, which is, like, even worse. Yeah. He thinks he's gonna get <laughs> murdered every day. <laughs> By, like, a convict that finally got out of jail. Because <laughs> he's fucking late. <laughs> He's fucking like wrongly accusing people so that real people can go free and like one's gonna stab him in the back one of these days. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, seriously, like, what was that shit with the forged autopsy report, asshole? Stab, stab, stab. 
<laughs> yeah, this autopsy report ain't gonna be forged. Something starts stabbing him. Oh, as I'm dying, tell them to redo the autopsy report at least seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, when did you receive that autopsy report? Ten minutes ago? Well, I made a new one. This one says that <laughs> my face guilty. This clock was never in any store, ever. Abby, I promise, with someone who has encyclopedic knowledge of the Ace Attorney games, there will be a water cooler eventually. I don't know if it will be as hot as the one in Jackbox, but maybe. <laughs> what? Friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. Yeah, and the other one was in a store. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Damn it, why'd I try that? Impossible! Everything sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Where's that, Macy's? Nah, maybe, maybe a Nordstrom, though. Oh, uh. Justin, everyone knows that better excuses can get, be found exclusively at the Gap. <laughs> I see they could, but I don't think they're on sale today. Oh, they're never on sale. Good oh. excuses come at a better price nowadays. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like this, Abby. Jesus Christ. I had her heart God. spin. Her heart spin. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock don't matter, okay? She did it. And she should die for it. Beautiful. Oh, the... Uh... Jiggly physics broke the frame rate for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. No, the actual lag was from the game trying to load Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> actually, like, Edgeworth, like, the, uh, like, the, whatever, like, kind of the amount of, so like, data, like, size it takes to, like, store all the sprites and everything is, like, for Edgeworth, is disproportionately <laughs> high because of how, like, highly rendered his ass is. Yeah, the amount of polygons on that 2D sprite is nuts. It's like crazy. He's the only one rendered in three dimensions. It's, weird. it's like insane. I don't know how crazy. they did. They somehow con they, they condensed three dimensions into two, just for the game. It's impressive. But uh, no, Abby. Sorry. With his anime games, uh, her pink is a natural hair color. Blonde isn't. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, change your hair to a, back to a normal color, color like, like pink. pink. <laughs> hey, let's do reference that show in one day. True. <laughs> This court of law and the witness will remain calm. I thought this was a court of slaw. Oh, oh, um, mm, a silly me. <laughs> did I um like lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> Harry, Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know what a weapon is clocked? Damn. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor, allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. This April, May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... Uh, hey. This Intuition's telling, in intuition, some memories the dudged deep in, deep in me is telling me that she heard about it, if anything. <laughs> Do you have a better uh, explanation besides dredge memories, or...? Uh, she, she's probably too fucking weak to hold it. Like, look at her, she's a little, like, little, uh, twig. Right, she's all skin and bones. Also... Yeah, I know. All skin and bones. The most important element. Wire. Wire. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. Wait, hold on, sorry. I gotta... I need Steven's Jiggle Physics fun fact real quick. I'm gonna go in a... I, I, I gotta go in a use the uh, bathroom. I'm gonna take that also as an opportunity to grab more water. Keep in mind this game was on the Game Boy Advance where they had limited space and animation budget, yet they decided it was vital for her to have Jiggle Physics. She's the most well-animated character in the game. Minus Rise from the Ashes, but that was made later for a more powerful... Yeah. Yeah, they did that very, very, very intentionally. Preach. 
God, I love this song. Uh, just to be a contrarian, I think it's all right. No, you no, have to be the I... one to not like it, and then Ivan says it's all right, I think. No, 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 no. Like, the real contrarian thing isn't to, like, say it's bad because that'd just be factually wrong, but just to think it's overhyped and mediocre. You're absolutely correct. Because <laughs> that is the least popular opinion. It is. Because... What? <laughs> That's the Doge opinion for sure. Yeah, it's mid. Shut up. And I, yeah, I know I just described that opinion to him without him saying anything, but I mean, come on, he would. I'm actually surprised they didn't do, like, redo the music for the game, though. Like, I. I'm happy they didn't. I love the songs. No, I mean, it's still good. And, you know, it's obviously, like, a, you know. I feel like the remixes would not be as good as the originals, but I feel like with a, a, with remakes nowadays, it's just kind of standard practice to make worse versions of the original songs, even even though it's not needed. Yeah, and I'm glad they had the um, the light touch to say, nah, not gonna do that. <laughs> B team didn't screw it up. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> And I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised with the HDified sprites, because they even added little details like Edgeworth's weird, shifty, slightly mm. moving eyeballs. I mean, hey, it actually makes this version of the game definitive instead of just a port. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably always prefer the, the sprites, but this this is pretty much the same thing, so I'll take it. But I've actually, I mean, I've, you know, I've played almost every version of these games over every system, and I haven't played this one yet, because I was saving it. So if I have, you know, I can notice the very small things that it just happened to be different. But I doubt there's going to be a lot of those. I just wonder how they're going to do the weird DS mini games on the, um, on this. Because I doubt I'll have to blow into the microphone to dust for fingerprints. I'd probably just do more stuff with your mouse. Yeah, probably. Or just like press a button to blow. Press the B button to blow. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the B button stands for. Just in general. Huh. This tie does look more pinkish than red. Uh, change your tie back to a normal color, like, like green. green. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's probably just a matter of what you played first. Dude, man. <laughs> I had a great job until my boss accused me of stealing. A clock. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, because something fun I'd do, because I was very, very obsessed with these games in like middle school or whatever. We had to make a lot of like Google Slides presentations, and I knew a website that just had all the sprites for all the games, so I would just randomly put in Ace Attorney characters where appropriate. I mean, no, there was no appropriate point for them. But I just like used Ace Attorney assets and a ton of stuff. Unfortunately, I just my I did my own business driving down the road when suddenly a cop pulled me over and arrested me. I better call. Some... <laughs> I love the phrase "minding my own business" instead of "drunk driving." driving yeah. But, you know, now that I think about it, Maya Fei was probably not the character to use when uh, doing a presentation on Japanese internment camps. That was maybe a little insensitive of me. I was in 8th grade, give me a break. I mean... I knew how to use word art, okay? My presentations were the best. I'm black. Uh, 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 I'm back. <laughs> Uh, 
The witness had never held a clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard. That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Oh, uh, well, this is uh, interesting. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Uh, Why? Why? <laughs> Maybe. So I'm, so I'm not entirely bought on this wiretap idea. <laughs> Have a look at this. The dumbest way to experience the games in complete chronological order. Yeah. <laughs> Where you play the one set in um, Imperial Japan first. So, two. <laughs> oh, that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. That could have been any Miss May. Whoa, Edgeworth. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rack, could please explain to the court what this is? Miss April May. You are tapping the victim, Miss, uh, uh, Miss Miyate's phone, were you not? <laughs> yeah, no. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is over objection overruled. Uh, it troubles me that our possession witness, uh, that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. Well, this is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that this witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have one thing yet to prove. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. <laughs> oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. <laughs> what? Dude, you're, you're fucking retarded right now. I literally already did. Here's my proof. <laughs> Objection. I'm clearly the smartest and best and most awesome and most sexy and most you're fabulous. Clearly the most, you're they're clearly most... the most fucking retarded one in the room. Objection to whatever you just said. I present the defendant's cell phone. There. Uh, yes, we have seen that. Please listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim that I used to prove that it was, in fact, a clock. Yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Uh, well, actually, there's something that I want uh, you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? Uh, it's a clock. It's made to look like the statue of the thinker, uh, and it tells you the time. I can't imagine what you're nani pogging at, but <laughs> what a, you're uh, welcome. Miss April May you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew that the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Uh, <laughs> Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does that does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. <laughs> uh, witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? <laughs> Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that, you, you lawyer? <laughs> Ooh. I, paused, I paused on that screen for a while. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Oh. It's no fair, all you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> God damn it. No. <laughs> You have to do the next one now, Adam. I will do the next one. That did it. You said it's just the real Miss April May now. <laughs> now to deal the final blow. Why? Why? Erm, um, why did you do the wire tap? Erm, um, why did you tap her phone? 
answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippy tapping irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edwards wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. Why aren't you a VIP? Because you've been here like twice. I mean... <laughs> I hardly call that irrelevant. Adam, this is the perfect moment for you to adopt the roll of dice to be VIP thing. No, I will... I have a better way. D roll a d20. See what happens. Uh, it's literally 1 in 20. Abby, pick a number 1 through 20. I will roll my little purple and yellow. Uh, 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 you gotta roll a, roll a nat 20. It's like it's like the Oh. Yeah, she can, if she wants, she can pick 20. Every time available. <laughs> and I thank you for that. But I, do you, Nat 20, do you really think you deserve the, the moniker of very important person? Are you so conceited? If it's a Nat 20, I'll do it. It was a 9. It was a Nat 9. Wow. That was impressive. A, it was a Nat 9. You can roll that, again, it's but watch not, more no. stream. That's just how it is. You can do that, Martin. I am the benevolent dictator here. I say, <laughs> I say, I think that's really, funny. that's really funny. If you can crit once per stream to be VIP, that is, I, I kind of do like that. And I do have real physical dice. <sighs> okay, fine. All right, Abby, good luck next stream, I guess. What if, like, you come in to do it, and then you bank it, and then you can roll, like, ten at once? No. It's the exact same thing if you do. <laughs> like, you don't get better odds. It's not a game <clears throat> system where you get better odds for doing ten at once. Well, no, oh, because good. someone's going to say that they showed up for, like, three or four streams, and it's up to them to, like, keep track of that. And I don't like it being up to them. I like it if... if they show up and they're like, I haven't rolled today. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a bot to take care of it. If you can set that up for me, absolutely. We can do a bank system. Okay. Then like, and then if they, how if they, how if they, we'll make it like a gotcha game. If they bank up 10, then they get like, they an can 11. lose all 10 of those, but they get an, oh, like an 11th one free. Okay. <laughs> That's stupid and I hate it, but okay. Well, the court does not condone the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove that you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you had tapped her phone? I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking, man, I'd like to see her pull that off. Where are you? Damn, she's good. I know. Well, you're not... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Well, you're not the first man who's thought that, and of course I can and will. Can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way. Oh, and I can assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. And don't call me Shirley. Hmm. <laughs> to okay. assume the mantle of Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Frank saw it be like, I'm always Franklin. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. We watched that movie together. <laughs> room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee. You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee? I think I'm, I think I'm making this up as the bellboy. Fixing my window. <laughs> <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not at the scene of the murder of the t at the time of the murder. Dude, Edwards does have to air out the entire room when he farts. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. <laughs> uh, so where does that leave us? Well, it's my great displeasure to inform you. That the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Miss Mia F Maya Fay, commit murder. 
no, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I time this mate the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Mm, uh, uh, well, come on, think of something. <laughs> Mm. What do you guys think? I mean, I actually don't remember the solution here. Well, That's let's, good. Let's look, at, let's look at continue to examine Miss May to, to see if it lets us. And if it does, we can see if we can do anything. All right. Here, I'll, I'll do a little save these just in case. Yeah, I got, got Jew. I mean, I have a feeling that it's called a bellboy as a witness just because if he literally just directly contradicts what she said, boom, like then... Bada boom, bada bing. She's but you want to try Miss May first? But yeah, let's try Miss yeah, May first. I think that's a... uh, right on with the cross examination. What exactly do you have less left to examine, Mr. Wright? Miss April May has admitted to the wiretap, yes. Nah, it's Drummer's birthday. We gotta be nice to him today and only Happy today. Birthday, Thanks, Robbie. That bears no relevance to the case at hand. Murder. There's no way you can prove any connection. Uh, I think this can't be the end, but I'm out of evidence. And I believe the cross-examination is over. Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have another wit any other witnesses to call? None, Your Honor. She's the last. <laughs> What? But that, but, 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 but that means Maya's guilty, but she said she's innocent. Wait, Your Honor. But my client said. Yes, Mr. Rat. The defense would like to call the bellboy after oh all. Oh my God. <laughs> I, pr I promise you eventually it's going to sort of pull the reins off and punish you a lot more for picking wrong stuff. But this is the second case in the series. It pulls less and less punches as it goes on. Like an actual video game. Yeah. Got you. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Too late now. I win. As I thought. <laughs> May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy, and Miss April May's alibi proves to be solid, then by default, your client, Miss Maya Fay, will be pronounced guilty. Are you prepared to accept my condition? Edgeworth. Got me back into a corner. <laughs> yeah, well, if he turns around. I don't see another way. I, but I don't see any other way to take this. <laughs> hey, if. Look. I accept. We do have Edgeworth back, Edgeworth back you into a corner and then turn around and fart it on <laughs> <laughs> Dan Salvato. <laughs> Dan Salvato style? I don't know what I'd do. That's uh... Very well. I think I'd just die at that point. Because the amount <laughs> of like air inside that gas bag would probably just be enough to get rid of all the oxygen in the air and just kill me. But joke's on you, I would never put myself in the situation where that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, if you could do one damage to Kirito <laughs> right now, would you? I hate that. I hate that no, so much. I love Kirito. I'd never do of that. Of course I would. I would hug him and love him and, <laughs> and cherish him forever. The question, you would never get himself into a situation where that would happen. <laughs> this is so stupid. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. Strummer, you don't give gifts on your birthday. Sorry, when it's Abby's birthday, <laughs> we can VIP her. Unless you're David, then you do. Because I didn't realize joking about that would cause an actual... 
I, I've been uh, you you and Aiden are so mean to David. What are you gonna do? Make him give you gifts for his birthday? Adam, that's a great idea. <laughs> and then we really did. We got David to give everyone else gifts for his birthday. It was I mean, probably yeah, he gave me the he gave me the Paris thing that I keep on noticing. Yeah. In Marina Ultimate. That's in January? Well, Abby, I will see you in January. Yeah, I'll see you then. I was gonna say, her birthday has to be at least sometime this year. Yeah. If not, sometime next year. West Coast, Best Coast, I don't know what you're talking about. I already said this. I apologize. He certainly does look like a bell boy. Oh, yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'll be happy to be of service, especially to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Not tonight. <laughs> that tea set looks rather uh, heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Would anyone like some Earl Grey or chamomile? Very good, sir. Well, I'm more of an Earl Grey guy uh, my myself. I want green. <laughs> then you can get it from the Arizona in the fridge, you peasant. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely at the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. I uh, see. So the defense may begin its cross examination. Right. Uh, I'm ready. I hope. Are you this ready, is ready? it. This is it. If I can, if I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, uh, Maya will be finished. Are, are you, you the head really? Of you? Are you really? <laughs> are you really? What exactly is it you do with the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check in guests. I check out guests. Oh. I clean rooms. I make beds. I unmake beds. I even deliver room service or service room deliverers. I checked Miss Mayton personally. Are you always so grim? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Are you sure? Hi, yes. Oh, never mind. oh, sorry. Yeah, I can, yeah, we can check it out. <laughs> got the autopsy. We got uh, the cell phone that we've used sufficiently at this point. I think, uh, but that is the thing where it's the recorded conversation talking about what the clock is and what it's for. Uh, we got some broken glass shards. We got the murder weapon, uh, wiretap, Mava, and the floor plans to the hotel. And the white cone being the what you could have possibly seen from the window of the Gatewater Hotel. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Go back to the floor plan? <laughs> Yeah. All right. See that gap in between the two bookshelves? That's where the murderer hid. He was hiding with, in between the gap and the bookshelves. The tiny little gap. <laughs> nice. On the whole left there. Goku. Yeah. The t <laughs> 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 and then solitaire on the little computer. I love that both Maya and Phoenix saw him and then ignored him because he probably had nothing to do with it. <laughs> If he was playing solitaire, could he possibly be Yeah, he couldn't done? have killed anyone while he was playing solitaire. He couldn't have possibly killed anyone. Oh, you're so focused. It's impressive. Yeah. Absolutely, sir. Uh, how can you be so certain? I checked Miss Amy in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... <clears throat> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Uh, yes, and what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. 
But did she? Nine o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the television and wished to drink it after she finished, sir. I believe it was, um, Mr. Monopoly's down on his luck. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. I believe the plot has something to do with the Monopoly man running out of money and having to make it in other ways. Really? That sounds interesting. Can you, like, link me to it? Oh, absolutely. I have it bookmarked in my browser. Objection. You can't bookmark it. It's pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> oh also my mistake! In bookmarks on the web browser don't exist yet. <laughs> it's 2016. Whatever do you mean? What are you talking about? It's 2001. Is that like 1990 something? If you want to get, uh, like for real, for real. We're living it up like it's 1999. Am I right? That's right. I'm oh, not did you though? Oh shit. Precisely nine o'clock then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine PM. Don't we be so sure. Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh bellboy tea. I'd like an honest coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Then present the window. Or did you? <laughs> and you're sure it was uh, Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. This guy talks exactly <laughs> like I talk. <laughs> How come you're so certain, so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guests have favored me with an, an embrasure, sir. Embrasse, embrasse, is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, and it's embrasia, but not a French kiss, or more of a peck on the cheek, but not the cheek that you would immediately think of, so it was a different cheek. Mr. Edgeworth would know all about that. Objection, Your Honor. I would have no idea what this lowly simpleton that I've never seen before in my entire life is talking about. Mr. Edgeworth, I could pick it on the cheek from here. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is uh, the dumbest thing. <laughs> and why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. No, she wouldn't let me see that. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember. Fish. <laughs> she has a pet goldfish. Objection. <laughs> it's no good. There's nothing there. Is is that it? Miss Tisk. Finally, you understand. God, I can't even look at Edgeworth anymore. <laughs> well, all you can see is his ass. You can't see it. <laughs> I know. It's all I can focus on. And it's not in frame. But I have to think there's a reason it's not in frame. Because it would take up the whole frame. It's impressive that they can somehow manage to fit something that would take up the entire entire frame slightly outside of frame. Well, this bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now. If you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave at the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Make a peaceful demonstration. Get to grocery bags now. Yeah. Can we uh, can we look at the give up option, please? Yeah. No. no. 
I give up now, I lose everything. If I just give if I just give up the case, I'd be giving up the very reason I became a lawyer. W wait. Please wait. 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 <laughs> wait. 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 Absolutely. Impersonating <laughs> impersonating a crosswalk sign has no bearing to the case. <laughs> Wait, Please tell Mr. Why, why does it not have any bearing in the case? Edward, a crosswalk you, you sign could not have possibly murdered Miss My Mia Fey. Maybe it may had. not have been able to murder it, but that doesn't mean he couldn't have witnessed it. <laughs> Objection! Cross signs are clearly not sentient, Your Honor. I ask this actually to be does the defense have anything Object to add? <laughs> Objection! There, please. One last question. Let me ask one last question. If a crosswalk <laughs> is not Your sentient, Honor, I must object. how can it say wait? This char charade of justice has gone on for long enough. No way he wouldn't say charade. No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it. Now this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Last question. This is all the marbles. Why are you hovering over bed making? Because he said he unmade the beds and he checked out the... I was just trying to think if I did a... Uh, oh, and service the rooms. Yeah, I did make a sex joke for every single one of these. <sighs> What's it gonna be? Oh, well, it's a. Uh... Wait, because I don't. Uh... Well, you know, let's ask about like you know check in like okay. Room service okay, but bed making yeah. I, I can imagine Drake being like. E yeah, the bed making. <laughs> Drake? Like, <laughs> like the meme. I can imagine Drake being like, nah, to checking in room service. But yeah, to bed making. <laughs> like, just think about the meme format. It's I like don't the think top the Drake is meme not... is going to hold up on, in court. In is court? It... Well, I, I can't wait play. for like 10 years from now when old, outdated memes become like. Per primary evidence in court cases <laughs> like somebody's getting like you know sued by like a school or something for you know bullying and they put a fucking drake meme making fun of the defendant I mean, that's like evidence to prove that it's a harassment case yeah <laughs> it's gonna be all of us all of us being prosecuted for all of like the photos all of, all of, like, the memes of, like, uh, Yazi. <laughs> it's just gonna be all of us and whatever Yeah, when memes, David like... eventually sues your ass for, uh, Yeah, for harassment. For harassment, you know, there's... The streams will be brought up. And Ambkill will be used as pivotal evidence in the court. <laughs> oh, but what are we gonna ask him about? So Drake is, is for bed making. What do you think, Martin? Drake is for bed making. I mean, I feel like, I think it's, if I, I think it might be check-in, because something, something, oh, what if she checked in with somebody else, and then you can mm. bring in the actual murderer into the case. I need you guys but, to pick one. Because that's, I think, what happened. So I'm, I'm for that one, for check-in. All right, so Drake thinks bed making. Marvin thinks check in. I mean, what do you think, I'll, I mean I, I'll say that I think that check in was right, but I, I don't care. Uh, in my, my my actual thing, what I thought was right was check in. I would I would rather click bed making, but I also don't care. <laughs> okay. Because uh, he, did enough, he made enough details about the delivery of the thing, but if we need we we need more details about the check in process, since he said he saw her there. Tell me about uh, the check in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Oh, all right, very well, sir. 
My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, uh, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Jet? That was... Objectionable. <laughs> Objectionable rule. The question why the witness will answer the question. <laughs> yes, I see. Why did you not mention it this in your testimony? Well, sir, you uh, you you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. I've done it. I've won. <laughs> it's a little premature, don't you think? So, Miss April may check into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Your Honor, just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I uh, hold that it is impossible to judge the defendant. Won't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple, it was... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Stumper, this I'm, one is. I'm real, I'm real stumped here. <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to know this? Well, let me look it up. Yeah. Uh, Google says the man was with Miss May. Yeah, no, that's probably it. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oh. Your Honor. Uh, this has been previously revealed. Miss April May was tamping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Xbox solved the case. <laughs> True. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my. What, what a convenient little setup. But it's not too late. It is too late. Not too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. My bones. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Whoa. Enough. Court acknowledges the defense's argument. Expect the prosecution defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Your, yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Mayor Fay. Court is adjourned. Court is adjourned. Court is burned. Court is a burned. Time's Court it. Court is a journey. Oh, it's perfect. Right? Yeah, it's 10 no. 20. We could do this quick little defendant lobby scene, and then when it goes into the yeah. investigation, we can call it. Got you, got you. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! I mean... It's I'm fine continuing, Martin, or you can do it. Whatever you would prefer. 
You can have it. My treat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Real, r r r really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Well, then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. And he had an oh. ass like an onion. <laughs> Made me cry just looking at it. Like, good cry. But that face of his, with his <laughs> eyes wide and his trembling hips, lips, it's in shivers up my spine. Yeah, I know. That, that, that ass. <laughs> so, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Uh, well... I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with uh, Miss May, he's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they uh, arrested her. I guess she's learning her uh, charms won't work everywhere. Probably the detention center now. I may have, uh, have to go down there later. Anyway. Uh, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. Going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Says. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. Ask for a full record of April May's testimony. Thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that uh, hasn't been stricken from the record. <laughs> That's true of a lot of Ace Attorney witnesses. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. What the pavement ever do to you, Phoenix? I can hate the pavement. That's Need to get hit. I hate concrete. Do you have any idea what it does to the environment, dude? Yeah. You know how much how much sand they dig up to make that concrete, and how much water it prevents from going back into the soil or evaporating. Do you have any idea what that pavement did? Man, whenever I see some of that stuff, I think, damn, that's concrete. <laughs> it doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. She's Bar. spitting bars. Damn. To be C. To be continued. To be cut. To be cut. See for progress at this point? No. No. You did that with Dongo Bongo, then we had to play the prologue again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was so dumb. Oh, yeah, that concrete did have blues. September 7th, 3 11 p.m. We're getting closer. Sand. Should have probably done that a while ago, but oh well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just adjusted the volume. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about the weird stream hiccups. I saw on my little side thing that they were a little common, but hopefully it didn't completely detract from the uh, viewing experience. No, Adam, we're going to stop being funny as soon as you fix your computer. So if there's like a new issue that happens every stream. <laughs> but it's... It's, it's a personality issue. Yeah. We'll make it a safety issue. Safety issue? You're gonna kill me? New address reveal. New, new issue. The second you get a new computer, we do a new issue reveal. And we reveal that uh, every every stream we spin a spinner. And there's a one in... There's a one in 200 chance that we're, we're all gonna fucking blow our brains out before the stream yeah. begins. Do it's pretty low. I don't want to play a Russian roulette with a 200 yeah, round I, gun. I wouldn't either. The, I, I don't like those odds. I, I'll i take like one in a billion odds. I was thinking, I I was like, no matter like, what, it's still going to cause a safety issue and that's going to delay some of the streams. Yeah, but one in a billion Martins just dies right there. Yeah. That could be you. I mean... 
Yeah, but there's like nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand. What the hell are we gonna do? Like more. Martin last name blew his brains out because he thought playing one in a billion Russian roulette was a sure thing. Dude, that means that we should go and buy a lottery ticket because we know we're living in the good universe oh, where yeah, we're true. lucky. Wait, Strummer, don't leave yet. Okay, for Strummer's birthday, I didn't really have anything prepared, but I mean, can we all go goodnight Strummer at the same time? That includes everyone typing here. That's right, guys. That's right. All right. That's right. Uh, you should probably do it now so the delay catches up. So do it now. But five, four, three, two, one. Good night, Strummer. Hey, Strummer. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. I yeah, rolled a billion sided dice, and if it landed on the number seven, I, I would have actually done it. <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled three, 300 million, 3,000, whatever. <laughs> so. Congrats, I don't have to kill myself. Yay! What if it was seven? What would you have done then? I would have lied. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you just got a one in a billion chance, like, on, like, there. But I think that's a sign that you have to kill yourself. Anyway, no. thank you for hanging out, Strummer. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, you know, like, hang out so much, of course, we're not going to forget your birthday or whatever. We won't, you know. We had a whole soiree for my birthday. My birthday is uh, about two months from now. Three for me. Martin doesn't have a birthday. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's sometime next year, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be up in the air. Depends if it's a leap year or not, and if I actually feel like it. I will will February 29th into being my birthday that year. Really? I I did a sketch for uh, the comedy show thing where my birthday was on, like, the, the plot was my birthday was on leap year, so I was legally four and a half, and I petitioned the government to, like, remove leap days. And then at the end, the like twist comedic ending was wait, like I I actually did it, and uh, since there's no more February 29th, I never age and I live forever. That's awesome. I, Jack did a really good job on that. That was a lot of fun doing with him, and I felt like an idiot for never sending him the footage I was supposed to send him, because that was like quarantine, right? So at that point we weren't making anymore, so I just never felt the need. I felt like a jackass, but whatevs. Anyway, that's Ace Attorney. That was really fun. I like that. Yeah, the show was crazy. Yeah. I liked the part where we played the video game. Me too. I like that you guys have really sold Phoenix as just the worst lawyer. Like, he's so bad. He picks the wrong option every time. <laughs> he gives up at every turn. He's like, <laughs> oh shit. Uh. Shit. Yeah, nah. I'm, I'm, I, I, gotta, I gotta go home and watch. Great Gatsby movie. I gotta go watch Battle Tits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's pretty good. Mm. You know, Adam, uh, how does it feel that your dad, uh, uh, your dad's gonna watch uh, you making a very terrible joke about pay-per-view porn multiple times? Uh, I'm honestly more concerned about the April May voice than I am about the inception of the battleship porn parody. That speaks volumes to the relationship you have with your father. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, I'll give you a good example uh, of, like, just what our typical conversations are like. I've made two different jokes, and one he took seriously, and one he didn't. Uh, the one he didn't take seriously was, like, uh, I made some off-the-color joke about, like, oh, no, I'm going to kill myself before that happens. Or, like, just some some suicide joke. Promise it was funny. Uh, and then he just sort of laughed it off and continued. But then I made a joke about being gay, and then my dad just instantly started taking it more seriously, and I was not happy with that. I'm like, Dad, what? what? <laughs> Turns out he was messing with me, but still. That's, like, that's a good example I use, where I can make up stuff like that all the time. But, like, he's very committed to screwing with me. 
Uh, but also, I don't know how much he likes the his son doing anime girl voices, but, uh, you know, I don't know that I'd like my son doing it either, but his show, you can do what he wants. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Good night. Afternoon, I guess. Good afternoon. If you will. And happy birthday, Strummer. Happy birthday.